out of steam, keep shutting down. Uh, hello, people. Hello, video on demand people. Um, since nobody else has tuned in this quickly, or anybody who rewound, because um, oh, there's an update queued. Let's put the update on it. Wow, it's a seven gig update. I thought I preloaded all this and set it all up. Well, while we're waiting for that to upload, I guess we can do a quick GeoGuessr. Crop pad. There we go. All right, so we're going to do one geo guesser while this thing is updating. I'm sure, somebody will come in and say, Oh my God, your stream said Mass Effect Legendary. So let me change it to geo guesser. Now the stream's been properly updated. We're going to do GeoGuessr. Uh, no, I want a time limit. I want five minutes. Moving, panning, zooming, loud, start game. Boom. Will you play Mass Effect later? As soon as the update. Literally, I was going to play it first, but it's doing a seven gigabyte update. And then, and then I w and the stream still says Mass Effect after the update. Yes. That's the plan. That's the whole reason I got it to start today. Got a rice fry? No idea. Tell you. So, whoops. I'm going to say that LU is Lithuania. Okay, well, I may not like it at all, so don't get too excited. I mean, it's like some of my friends' favorite all-time game, but it's a first-person shooter style game that came out on the console, which means it's designed to be played with a controller, which means it's automatically worse than every other first-person shooter in that respect, and I'm going to be playing it with a keyboard and mouse, I think. Um I learned to play shooters when they were actually shooters. But, all right, so Beauty All LU. I'm going to assume that that's Lithuania. And I don't know where in Lithuania, but. LU could be something else. Happy Monday. Hello, Scary Computer. Hello, Jello Spawn and Sedan 3. <laughs> oh, wow. Pardon the fact that I'm sneezing. Um, I got up early this morning. I went to the doctor. We talked about my blood sugar and my medications and treatment. And um, Clem, Clem Abundness, Abundness Demi. I wonder if that's the name of the township, and maybe I can look around for that. I mean, it's kind of, it looks kind of small, but. Home office Monday, workday almost over. Wow, congrats. My workday is just getting started. And evidently, it's going to start with GeoGuessr. 
and being stuck somewhere in Lithuania and not knowing where. back down this way see what we can see as far as signs and stuff Camp Militaire WSA well I don't know if that's going to be big enough That's a U.S. It won't let me get any closer and can't read it. Well, slowly moving across your field in your tractor. You need some help? I love driving tractors and lawnmowers around fields and mowing, and I love doing that stuff it's like a i used to hate it as a kid because we always had a push mow but now i want to you know go out and like when i'm in kentucky uh, visiting my friends who have a significant property first thing i want to do let me get on your tractor and go mow I, I just i love to mow i don't know why it's weird so we're at, there's a U.S. military base here somewhere in Lithuania. There's a tractor right there. Oh, yes, I totally believe in jinxes because now Julie has to wear glasses after I mentioned that she would probably have to wear glasses soon. All right, 110. Oh, fuck, fuck. Okay, we weren't in Lithuania. We were in Luxembourg. This is already starting off terrible. God damn it. All right, well, we're going to ditch that. We're going to see if this thing is done updating. Um, delete that. And delete that. And let me see. Okay, the update's done. I don't have to wait anymore. We can just start playing Mass Effect. There we go. <coughs> this will take a minute to do the first time setup. Let's see. Planting canola grass is just getting long enough for the first cut here. I have to wait for done planting that. Yep. Auto steer and GPS. Gosh, why do you even need to get in the tractor then? Is there a titty bar in the original Mass Effect? Seems to remember that. I don't know. What should I ask you during the MDD meet and greet? Oh, that's up to you. You didn't play the original. I thought you were a gamer. I'm playing them now, but 
I never played first person shooters on consoles because that's like trying to text with mittens. I'm a real gamer that played shooters with a PC with a keyboard and a mouse. What do you mean I didn't play the original? You thought I was a gamer. I didn't think Mass Effect was a PC game, but the fact that I didn't play one game disqualifies for me a gamer. I'll put my fucking gaming cred up against anybody. Were you at QuakeCon 97? Did you run the number one Counter-Strike team in the world? Because I did. But now that I know that it was originally on PC or at least playable on PC, maybe it won't be awful. My God, the first game didn't even come out until 2007. By 2007, I was done with first-person shoot. Half, yeah, this is 10 years after Half-Life. Of course, I played Half-Life and Half-Life 2 and Portal. And by the time 2007 rolled around, I wasn't playing shooters at all anymore. You'll, you'll also probably be uh, sad to find that I never played Halo because Halo was another console game and I was PC Master Race. Man, first time setup on this has taken a long time. Maybe I'll just go play Doom Eternal and get the new DLC. Halo came out on PC a decade ago. Right, but why would I play? It didn't come out on PC. It didn't come out. Halo didn't come out on PC first. It was a console game. Games designed for a console, shooters designed for a console are garbage because they have to dumb it down and make it easy and add aim assist so that you can move around with the thumb controllers. You take the best console gamer and put them in a game head-to-head -head with somebody playing with a keyboard and mouse, and the person on the little controller thing will get their ass kicked all the time. Yes, I know Halo came out on PC eventually, and you could play it, but I had no interest in playing old games that were re-released on the PC. I'm not preaching to the choir. You came in talking shit about how I'm not a gamer. And if you think I remember that you're a PC gamer and 59 years old, I'm sorry. I don't remember everybody's alternate name here. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping it's awesome. There's Lunar Storm. Where did I say that? Uh, you didn't play the original? I thought you were a gamer. It's like 15, 16 messages up for you. You're saying, I didn't play the original, implying that I'm not a gamer if I didn't play the original Mass Effect. So you have to prove that you're a gamer by preaching to the choir. Okay. I loved Hexen, Heretic. My switch and some games don't know how to play because they need a keyboard. Keyboard's better. Guess who's busting your chops a little? I'm not. Stop saying I'm hypersensitive. Your life is not my life. I'm under attack 24 7. If you come in and you say this and I play back about gaming, uh, it's not me being hypersensitive. That's me playing along. But if you want to come in and talk, you know, measure gaming penises, I'll do that all day fucking long. Wow, this is original. This initial setup is taking forever. I mean, don't get me wrong. This game is, I mean, huge because it's three Mass Effects and I don't know how much DLC, but the origin thin setup is just. So, what do we sit here and talk about while well, we wait for the very first Mass Effect?
By the way, Johnny Mo, if, if you're the same Johnny Mo that didn't believe it was me in chat with Doc Heathen, that was me. Which I think the mods verified, but I don't know what they changed because I didn't play the originals, but it's all been evidently remastered for 4K. So. I'm so sorry. Uncle Albert. Lily verified that in chat. Rar. Thank you, Lily. Got a Bosch Rush and a Huskill with crazy four shot cyber shot combo. That was fun. Nice. I'm behind on unlocking stuff, but I wanted to at least give Mass Effect a try. Rum Total Way remaster last month was worth the 15 bucks. That's probably worth it. Trilogy is about 150 hours of play time. I have to say, you look great today, especially in the 160p resolution I'm watching in. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, your resolution's so low. You mess with any VR or anything? Yes, I got an Oculus Quest. I don't know what's going on. Is there something here that... Oh, fuck. Install Origin to play Mass Effect Legendary... It's it set up underneath. It pops. What the fuck is this? Origin install options. I'm sitting here waiting it for do so, it to do something, and it popped under. Installing the latest version of Origin. And do I have to create some fucking account for this? And is it going to be a, an account I already created? And there's the EA link, EXE, bad image, Windows. The latest Windows update has given me an error all over the goddamn place. EA link.exe, bad image. Windows System 32, WBEM, WM, Proxy LLZ. They're not designed to run one. Okay. Is it going to launch? Sign into your EA account to log in with Steam. Uh. Fucking God. Why can't I never just buy a game? All right, that's not true. Quite frequently, I just buy a game and play the game. And it says that it has sent me a, an email. Instructions for completing your password reset to the email you use to set up your EA account. But that email does not appear. There it is. Don't tell me you sent me an email if it has not arrived. Oh, hooray. 
that's done. God, this is so fucking annoying. Please tell me this is going to capture a game, because if it's not... Fuck. So, Streamlabs is not detecting this as a game. Um, I may have to go... Ooh, that doesn't work. I guess I'm going to have to set it up like this. And it, I don't know how good it's going to look because it's not tech grabbing the game. It's grabbing a screen. Um, last big Windows 10 update a few weeks back. Rick having on my PC. Yeah, it's fucking with mine too. And Vern had to do a complete reset. Did you reconcile with your mom? Last I heard you were not really communicating. My mom and I talk. We just don't talk about religion. I, I don't know what you think you heard, but my mom and I were never estranged. I just told her to stop sending me bullshit. Where did you buy it from? Where did I buy what from? Mass Effect? Steam? All right, so Mass Effect, Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 3. I guess Mass Effect, sorry, but I want to go to options first. Language is good, subtitle front's good. Controller vibration, um, off. Gameplay feedback. Sounds recorded. Okay. Yes, Kaylee, it says first playthrough right there in the title of the stream. I'm confused. I am so fucking confused. Is this thing going to detect it as a game or not? Oh, it does. All right. So now I can transition to this. So she amazed you haven't played it before. That's all. Okay. Start new career extras exit to launcher. Well, I guess I start new careers, but I kind of like to go to fucking options first. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed.
I don't even know if, if my camera stuff is set up in the right spot or if this is going to block something. <sighs> John Shepard, James Shepard, enter new ID. Okay, chat. Are we playing as John Shepard, James Shepard, or are we entering a new ID? I'm not going to put up polls for everything. It'll take long. Just, you know. Matt Shepard. Fergal Burgle. ID. Master Chef. Okay, well, I guess I should have put up a poll because that's not. New Chef ID. Custom male, custom female, quick start. Well, let's go custom female. Log in to we'll make her Fergie Bergie. Oh, it won't let me do anymore. Fergal Shepherd. Data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. Oh, I guess I should be the, the proper type of gamer here. Profile reconstruction. Pre-service history. You have a choice between Spacer, Colonist, and Earthborn. Spacer, both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations, and they transferred po from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 17. So I'm a military brat uh, who lived in space and followed and did that. Then a colonist. I was born and raised on Mendor, a small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When I was 16, slavers raided Mendor, slaughtering my family and friends. You were saved by a passing alliance patrol, and you enlisted with the military. If you, I'm sensing a theme here that I'm going to end up in the military. Earthborn, you are an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolises covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. So all three of them end with me in the military. The question is, was I an orphan on Earth, a colonist where slavers came, or a military brat? Uh, I'm going with colonist unless somebody says something different. Okay, we're escaping slavery. So, during my service, a mission I was on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, I had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you are alone, are left to tell the tale. Or, early in my military career, I found myself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. Or, throughout my military career, I've held fast to one basic rule. Get the job done. You've been called cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you. When failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. Hmm... Fond of any of those, but I'll go with I'll go with the sole survivor. I've had a rough life. Confirm military specialization. Uh oh, soldiers of combat specialists ideal for the front lines of firefight. Have improved health, can specialize in the use of all weapon types, starting with the ability 
wear medium armor. I can train to use a heavy armor. Engineer, tech specialist. Using a holographic omni tool, they can decrypt security systems, repair or modify technical equipment, disrupt enemy weapons or shields, and heal their squads. Engineers can only wear light armor and they specialize in pistols. Adepts. Adepts are biotech specialists. Through upgradable implants, they can use biotech, biotic powers to lift or throw objects, shield the squad, destroy, disable or destroy enemies. Adepts can only wear light armor and they specialize in pistols. Infiltrators. Specialize in pistol or sniper rifles and wear medium armor. Sentinels. Confirm going with infiltrator I'm not gonna part of me wants to go through so I can see the customization so we'll do a change just so I can see what's on but Confirm facial identification. Confirm facial identification. Profile reconstruction complete. Let's go with that. Fergal Shepherd, colonist, soul survivor, infiltrator. What's going on in chat? If you have questions for me, tag me, or I'm going to miss it, and especially in games this complicated. Have you been able to stay Mass Effect spoiler free through the years? Yes. Almost every by where hey, my daughter sends hours and hours creating her characters. How's my day going? I don't know yet. Once you confirm your character is complete, you'll be unable to confirm any to change any settings. All right. Identification confirmed. Auto level up. Adjust whether points are automatically or manually assigned each time a character advances. No, I want to imagine it. Level scaling. In classic mode, the original 1 to 60 level range will be used instead of the new 1 to 30 level range. XP and talent point progression remain the same, but the number of levels is doubled. Don't understand. I guess I'll stick with legendary mode since I'm going to assume that's fixed. So maybe it's not new or maybe it's not going to be a true experience like the first one. Um, squad power use determines which skill and talent squad members are using combat. Uh, 
Uh, all right, I'll leave it there. Subtitles. Maybe. Auto save, enable tutorials, sure. Well, what about Shepard? She grew up in the colonies. She knows how tough life can be out there. Her parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Mass Effect. Dun dun dun. I've never played this before. It literally says first playthrough in the title of the stream. <laughs> the Arcturus Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. I don't know shit about it. I didn't even know what Mass Effect meant until right now. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500 K. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I recognize that voice. I hate that guy. That's Seth Green. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead, so that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Well, Miss Pillix, I have not had an option screen available to adjust anything at all in this game. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so what are we doing here? Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach East Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Yeah, I would agree. That's something that should have been there, but... I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Press escape and open your journal view. your update mission check.
Okay, that's as much as I'm turning it up. No spoilers, no backseating. God, I'm... Thanks for asking, I guess, but it, you literally agree to that when you join my channel and we're playing a game I've never played before and I'm the person on the planet who hates backseating, hates spoilers more than anybody you're ever going to meet. So it's bizarre that anybody needed to ask that, but thanks for asking. Sure, that's fine. Full screen. I don't want VSync on, but. Calibration. HDR, HDR, contrast. I guess that's fine. Film grain is on. This thing thinks I'm playing with a controller. thing it's going to start unbinding a bunch of shit and i don't know anything about the game or where anything needs to be so it's going to be really annoying oh a vehicle look i need to change that too yes all right so walk and crouch or toggles Don't like left control, that's too far from a pinky, so. Use or sprint. Is there a jump? Because there's no jumping in this game. Jump jets, which is space bar. No jumping. All right, well, I mean, that's a design choice. I understand a lot of people can get irritated by gamers who do nothing but jump around, but. All right. So toggle, walk, and crouch. First things that needs to come up. Sprint map. Border relay, order 
her squad mates. Oh, this is not... I'm gonna leave as many of them at default as I can. I'm just gonna change movement to start with. come back here many times and change it and adjust and no I hate where that is because I use this way more often but combat difficulty we'll leave it at normal holy crap a lot of tags in the chat let me go find out never send FAS to use like that. What's the idea behind it? The idea behind it is that your fingers are on the home row where they would be for touch typists. So I never have to move my left hand. And so forward, backward, slide left, slide right. I don't have to move anything at all for movement. All of my movement is on one row, which makes it really superior if I want to go forward and strafe left while turning right to circle strafe. Then I have QWER, which are all directly above, and uh, ZXCV, which are below, and 1234, which are above that. So I have 16 keys, oh, actually, sorry, 16 keys plus TGB, all within access of just these four fingers, not counting what my thumb can do with the spacebar. And in old games, when you had to actually type messages because there was no voice talking, uh, take your hand off your mouse, put your hand on the keyboard. You can now type whatever you want as quick as you can. Um, I, a lot of a lot of programmers switched to it when I first invented it at the beginning. Probably a quick quick one is when I came up with this version. I used to play WASD with um, with Doom, but Quake One's when I started using this. All right, so it wants me to go to my journal, but I want to check out. Exit, load, save, map, squad, okay, journal. Prologue, on the Normandy, you are Lieutenant Commander Shepard, Executive Officer, Executive Officer on the SSV Normandy. Is that sexy, sexy vessel Normandy? It takes a little while to get used to FASD, but once you do it, you'll never go back because the problem for me with WASD is that I've got my fingers in this little cramped configuration and this one is going back and forth and then that leaves me fewer options of what I can actually touch. This one you just set your hand on the keyboard and go. Go to Captain Anderson in the comm room. That's my latest mission. Okay. What's Codex? Personal history summary. Troll was attacked by thresher maws, mindless abominations of teeth and tentacles that rose up from beneath the earth. Constant gunfire couldn't drown out the shrieks of my fellow soldiers. They were dragged down to a gruesome death. Fifty Marines died on Akuze. Or Akuz. You were the only one to make it back to the landing zone alive. A monument to the planet commemorates the massacre. A grim reminder of the price humanity has paid to the spread through the stars. Humanity and the System Alliance. Let's see, 2069, I'm starting up with conspiracy with Selma and Luna. Bump that just a bit right there. All right, Lowell City and EOS Chance. See, this is the part where I'm going to be bad. Um, because honestly, I'm not that fond of all the background lore in most of the games, but do you use Shift, Control, or Tab? Yes. Those are all off my pinky. 
I can't do it as well as I used to because I've lost mobility in my hands because my hands are numb from here to about here. So my pinky, did, n neither of my pinkies will do what they used to. They won't stretch enough to do all that. But I've never done a study on how other people use ASDF. The ones that learned from me use it my way. All right. So codex that. Mouse sensitivity is way too high. fond of the camera. The camera's in kind of tight. Uh, I feel kind of cramped, I think is, is what it is, but all right, let's see how this goes. Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Is someone gonna fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Protheon. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. I hate this. I don't have enough context to make a decision about what kind of answer I want to give, so it's kind of random the first time through. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate it. Since when do we answer to the specters? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, 
It shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Nobody ever talks like this except in movies and video games. You better see this, Captain. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. I'm wondering why people are backseating and telling me what to do. out after that no calm traffic at all it just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold the 38.5 status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. How do you crouch and move with ASDF? You... So, like, if C is your crouch key, you push C and you move... The other one, but you're your you're not moving your whole hand. Commander, go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. Picking isn't used for going left, it's for strafing left. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. You're not strafing at the time that you're crouching. It, it, it's a, it's a gameplay thing. idea what I'm doing. Use your right bounce button to draw your weapon. H to put it away. Okay, so there's no jumping. That's fine, so I'm not sure why I care about crouching. Oh God. What happened here? Left just to switch your weapons for your squads. to tell them I have to tell them what weapons to use
Alright, where am I going? don't like that. Taking control away and going into a cutscene thing. It's going to take a little while to get used to it. Well, crouch in this game's a toggle, so all you got to do is hit it. So I just hit it with the finger that's above it. person's down? Holy crap. Rip right through his shields. We're at a chance. I lost a, somebody already? Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am. So first of all, let's go to options, sound. Wait, I, now I don't have anybody to command? confused. So you got somebody here who's dead. There you go. You stick with that. I'll stick with that. We'll both snipe our happy little asses off until I need to change something. And opening containers. All right, so here we go. Now it gets fun. I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm going to check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. I have no idea if that guy was just supposed to die or what, but. But I will snipe my happy little eye. Use left shift to issue orders to your squad or use Z attack your target. Q and E especially. You have to, you don't have to really aim at all in this game.
This game has the softest aiming of any game I've ever played. Yes, it that's backseating. Yes. If I don't ask, I don't want to know. And I technically, I didn't ask whether or not that was scripted, but I'm not mad that somebody told me. I, but yeah, I wasn't really, I would have found out whether it was scripted later. But it's all right. We're playing an old game. I, oh my God, I hate that. I mean, I know it's not actually impacting the game. It's not like I'm going to die while it's on a cutscene, but I hate that it just takes over the screen right while I'm moving and shows me something going on somewhere else entirely. I'll get used to it, but it's jarring. See, I don't know who this is. Tell me that dude's not dead. How many times I gotta hit this guy in the fucking skull? Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. He the one who charged your ma'am? I need a status report now. Oh man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Geth your ass over here. They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life. They were supposed to be a source of ch Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Move out! I guess they got bored. <laughs> nice. Press escape to go to the squad screen to spend talent points for new squad members. Okay. Fergal Shepherd Infiltrator. That's me. Caden. So I have three points. Caden has two points. And Ashley Williams has two points. That's good because if all of us had three points, I would have suspected that I had three points to spend across all of us. All right. So. She's a soldier. He's a sentinel. Um, we'll increase her assault rifle. And uh, There we go. I could probably put her on auto just so I don't have to manage everything. Uh, put you on first aid.
Okay. Toggling helmet, I'm, I'm legitimately asking, is toggle helmet just aesthetic or does it actually lower my armor? Okay. And then maybe I'll use that just because it might make it easy. I mean, it's always going to make it easy to spot me. They have different armor. So let's say put you on healing. Your Healy stuff. I thought you were healing soon. All right. at the far end of this trench. Look, something's going to happen right here. Move the edge of cover and press the left mouse button to fire. Hold the right mouse button and aim. Well, okay. shooting at a wall. Thank you. 
Do I know the game called Prey? I know multiple games called Prey, and one of them I've played on the stream. So did it just auto-upgrade me to Hammer 1? Oh, select item. Pray from 27, didn't, didn't see stream. Yes, I played it. I played it on stream. Uh, I guess that's right. Like, that's inventory, but it's like... Can I reduce that to jail? Okay. Maybe I should have grabbed a bunch of stuff for everybody, but... This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Let's get moving. Williams, where's the camp? It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. All right. Change of plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. I don't have time to talk about other games, Atrix. I'm starting a brand new game that I've never played. I'm deep in the middle of learning how to play it. I don't have time to talk about shit I played a year ago. Uh, it was all right. Like they hit the camp hard. Yes, first playthrough ever literally says that. Well, all right, it doesn't say ever, but... Why do I come up with a stream title? Oh, God. They're still alive. I think I should just... Type up a stream title that says, Ask me about my stream title. <laughs> oh, too funny. Okay, I don't know what the hell happened here. Um, Codex. Roughly 1,200 years ago, the Turians were invited to join the Citadel Council to fulfill the role of galactic peacekeepers. The Turians have the largest fleet in Citadel space, and they make up the single largest portion of the Council's military forces. As the I don't have time for lore right now. I just want to learn how to play the game. What the hell is this? Something weird is going on here. I know I changed sniper rifle, but this one now functions differently and fires rounds. I don't care if there's a tag option for first playthrough. If I put it in a stream title and nobody sees it, what good does it do to put it in a fucking tag? I had no backseating in a tag. I've had all kinds of things in a tag. People don't check tags any more than they do anything else. Why is this thing floating in the air? Even Brian will never be the same again. Okay, and now it's not floating in the air.
that door. It's closed. Security locks engaged. Okay, it's a cursor. Hang on, what happened? I thought I got there. Okay. Thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. So it's just going to be pretty much linear in this intro thing. Just head up to the train station. Okay. Cutscene. Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. How did I know he was the bad guy? What is that? Off in the distance. <laughs> Trying to do single shots and it's not letting me. This is awful. Their weapon was better. Come on.
Turian? You know him? He's a specter. He was with us on the normal. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! What are you doing sneaking around back there? I, I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm, I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Why would you let me pick something and not what to go to it? it? So weird. It's over on the other platform. Pro I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Okay. I guess we head towards the train. Trained my eyes. Have not trained my eyes yet what to look for. I just don't feel like this is doing anywhere near as the damage I was doing before, even though, wow, even though it's technically more. And clearly I need to be a little more careful with my fingers. Why isn't it letting me fire?
You guys are still shooting, so there's still somebody over there. Right there. Now my team's done shooting, so there's nobody else up here. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Uh, too late. The game already showed me the cutscene, which verified that the person who was hiding was telling the truth. Whereas, in reality, I would have no idea whether or not the person hiding behind this stuff was telling the truth or not. For all I know, you could still be the good guy. But the game has verified that you are the bad guy. Or the lazy guy. They're looking that way. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Where'd you shoot from? That was a big deal. Who's shooting over there? Oh. Why are you two not doing anything? holding the position expertly. There was a guy walking slowly toward me just to their left that they didn't even look at. That's not holding a position. Thanks for the tip, Northern Spike. Oh, 
How the fuck did that not hit? Uh, we'll just take all for now. So I need to get this disconnected, disarmed. Now it's counter terrorist win. Wow, this looks terrible, says Crimson Steel. What, what looks terrible? I mean, it's a 4K remaster of a 2007 game, but I, I haven't seen anything at all that makes me think it looks terrible. Thought they updated the graphics. It's in 4K. Uh, yes, they did. I don't know what your your stream is uh, showing. I think I need health. I got gigabit internet and I've got the bit rate cranked. So I don't know what you guys are seeing or what the problem is. Black seem a little, maybe contrast is off. Holy shit, you guys are talking like they're, all right. Ancient Moogles watching it in 1080p on Twitch. Looks fine. What I've got and as my outgoing uh, looks fine. Watched a few ME1 streams. This is the only one with the pixelation issue. Yeah, but you say it has a pixelation issue spills out, but Ancient Moogle is saying it doesn't. I'd love to fix this, but how do I tell who's got a problem and who doesn't? Russell LaCroix says it looks good to them. Um, Stream quality is fine. Looks fine to me. Just got here, but looks good to me. Looks fine here. Looks great to me. Uh, yeah. I'm going to assume that those of you who are having problems are having problems on your end. All right. How the hell do I heal? Uh, let's go to options, key bindings. First aid is V. Well, that's it. When there's no movement, it's crystal clear. I don't see a problem even when there's movement. There's definite pixelation, looks like encoding. Even your webcam feed is pixelated when moving around. And literally, Dreamcuber, other people are telling you that they're watching it in 1080p and it looks crystal clear. So how can it be on my end if other people other than you are seeing it crystal clear? See, I've got a monster machine. I've got gigabit internet. I'm sending it out. With, with, as far as I can tell with the best settings I have, and you're saying that it's an encoding issue. And yet there are literally many other people in the channel that are saying they're not seeing the problem. If there are people who aren't seeing the problem, then the, clearly it's not the encoding here. Could very well be Twitch. I'm well aware how hardware and encoding works. I'm just saying what I'm seeing. Well, you said it was the encoding and doesn't the encoding take place here for what I'm sending? So. It's your, I, I don't know. If it's nothing that I can fix, why would you tell me about it? 
I don't know. I'm, well, thank you, Dreamcuber. I don't know you from a hole in the wall, and I don't know that you know that you're well aware how hardware and encoding works. I don't know shit about you, but I do. And as a former QA lead engineer who's troubleshooting, I'd like to troubleshoot things so that people can, if there's a setting that I can change here that might help you, I'm happy to do it, but nobody's done that. Uh, there's nothing I can do if somebody's not like, ah, here's the thing. Just don't engage. Well, that seems to violate the entire purpose of this. If there are people that are tuning into the stream and it doesn't look good, I would like to do everything in my power to help them. But if it's gonna be, nope, it's fine here, it's fine here, it's fine here, it's fine here. Well, it's not fine here, so clearly it's, you know, okay. But if you're watching it on your cell phone in 3G, whatever but you're repeating yourself and chastising. And I'm, I'm repeating myself and chastising. Well, I don't see where I'm chastising when I'm genuinely asking uh, and pointing out that some people are sitting here saying it's one thing. But if I'd like to repeat myself and chastise, don't I get to do that in my fucking channel? Of course, thank you for the chastisement. Well, you seem to be chastising me for chastising people, so it seemed like turnabout was fair play. Okay, well, we're not doing that shit.
No big deal, just move on. If you'd like to test something, there's a film grain setting in the graphics menu that could occupy some of the bitrate, but not sure what else you could do. I was told to turn it on, so I turned it on. There. But I'm using 5% CPU. Uh, 60 frames a second, no frames dropped. 2700 kilobits per second bit rate is there a should i crank the bit rate up is what i was asking a while ago because some of you Yeah, that's what I was saying, Dreamcuber. If somebody's got an issue, I'd like to try to figure out how to address it. But if nobody has any suggestion of what to address, I can't do anything. You can't post links in here. I've got links turned off. But comparison screenshots from your end are completely irrelevant to me finding a solution if I'm sending it out and other people aren't having the problem. Do you understand that? Where am I wrong there? What can I change here that's going to fix things on your end when they're already working fine on other people's ends? Adam, Atomic Crouton says, I troubleshot on my end. It seems like an issue on our end and not on yours. That's fine. I'm just saying if there's something I, can, I need to change, I can change it. But if people are watching it saying there's no problem and other people are watching it saying there's a problem, it seems like that problem is not on my end to fix, but I'll try something. You could use those screens to ask Twitch what's going on, just doing it to help. I don't need to ask Twitch what's going on on your end. That's what you do. I'm not here to troubleshoot all the problems that are not on my end. Gosh, Twitch, some of my streamers are saying that the stream looks great in 1080p and some of them are saying it looks pixelated. Well, I already know what the answer to that is. Some people have better internet. It's not on our end either. That's the thing. And yet, how do you show it's not on your end? Because it's really simple. Here's a block diagram. I send a stream out to Twitch. Twitch sends streams out to people. I'm sending something to Twitch and some of the people that are getting it from Twitch are getting it fine, no issues. And some other people are getting it with issues, which means that it's either on your end or something interconnecting between you and Twitch. It's not something on between me and Twitch. Otherwise, everybody would be getting it bad. So maybe a bitrate issue. For somebody who knows all about hardware and bitrate and all that stuff, um, there's, a, there's a troubleshooting process here. They go, no, it could be Twitch in the sense that they're streaming a lower quality version for a certain segment of your viewers, which is still not my fucking problem, is it? That's nothing I can change on my end. And if I go to Twitch and say, some of my viewers don't aren't getting as good a stream. What what can we do about that? And Twitch is like, we're not here to fix everybody's problems on the internet. Didn't say it was your problem. You kind of did, Dreamcuber. You suggested that I could use your information to troubleshoot your connection problem by going to Twitch and saying one of my viewers is having this problem. That's not my problem to solve. My, I'm not here to fix your fucking computer. See, Streamlabs is saying my stream quality is good. I'm 
trying to see if there's anything else I can change about bitrate. I'm genuinely trying to figure out what the confusion is. the dashboard. Do, do, do. Go away. So let's see. a misclick so Box. I don't care about that. Themes, widgets, stream overlays. So I think my Streamlabs is messed up. I don't know what to do. Six thousand bit rate for ten eighty P is what you need. There we go. I 
can fix that. I can change that. Boom. Uh, all right, I'm going to stop the stream. I'm going to set it to 6,000, and I'm going to do it again. 